Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Geeta Aurangabadkar and I work as a consultant endocrinologist in Care Hospital and Excel Hospital in Hyderabad. So today we are going to talk about the very very commonly asked question regarding diabetes. Why it happened to me and what are my chances of passing it on to my children. Now most of you have been bombarded with information regarding diabetes and there is so much available on the internet these days but let's look at diabetes in slightly more different way. So what is diabetes? It's a state or a disease or a condition where someone's blood sugars are high due to various reasons. So broadly speaking they could be high due to type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes and there are other special genetic type of diabetes such as MOBY or there could be some other reasons such as the patient uh, is on steroids or certain medications which can cause diabetes or high blood sugar rather. We are not going to go into details of these but today we are going to concentrate on why it happens and what are the things that we can do to prevent it possibly. So the very reason why diabetes happens in the first place is either due to no insulin in the body or the insulin is present but it's unable to do its job. So let's look at type 1 diabetes. As we are, we are all aware, we have pancreas in our body which is the organ in our abdomen which produces insulin hormone in response to the sugars or the carbohydrates or the food that we eat. So imagine a child or a baby whose pancreas is not functioning very well and is unable to produce this hormone insulin. What will happen to their blood sugar levels? They will keep on increasing because there is no insulin to combat or help, the, help reduce the sugar levels in their blood. So they can end up into a complication called diabetic ketoacidosis which is one of the emergencies in our, our medicine. Type 2 diabetes on the other hand happens due to slightly different reason. It happens because the insulin hormones are there in our body but they are just unable to act because of other reasons. So the most common reason is obesity or excess amount of fat. Now why type 1 diabetes happens or type 2 diabetes happens? I've listed a, a very common reasons. I mean there are environmental factors like pollution and toxins and other things implicated. Even certain viruses can cause um, type 1 diabetes. There are some studies to indicate that. There is a link to even vitamin D deficiency. None of the studies are absolutely concrete but they are you know suggestive that these factors may be implicated or involved. Genetics plays a, a major role. So as we know type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes both are genetically linked which means if your parents have got type 1 or type 2 diabetes then you are likely to be affected more. And I have listed what are the risks because the risks depend on the age of your parents when they got it, whether one parent is affected or both parents are affected and if you are a first degree relative at all. So these are all the factors which make genetics a bit more complicated but to make it simple if you have got a, a mother who has got type 1 diabetes then your risk of getting it is only 2%. On the other hand with father it goes up to 8%. If both parents are affected then it goes up to as high as 30%. On the other hand Type 2 diabetes is strongly linked genetically which means if one parent is affected then your risk of getting type 2 diabetes is 15% and if both parents are affected it's as high as 75% or 1 in 4. Now these are the genetic factors but there is major major things called lifestyle which plays an important role. And why do we talk about having healthy diet and healthy lifestyle and exercise? This is why. I mean I often joke with my patients when they tell me and ask me, does obesity run in family? And I ask them in return, does it run in family or is it because nobody runs in family? 
Well, on a serious note, lifestyle does play a very important role. So, coming to the things what I can do to prevent AIDS is about lifestyle. So, you can have healthy diet, you can maintain your weight, you make sure that your overall lifestyle such as smoking and alcohol intake is limited. Smoking does not directly cause diabetes but it can affect uh, the diabetes related complications and it can cause other health related hazards. So you can prevent diabetes to some extent. Genetics is not in your hands and probably environmental is not in your hands either but what is in your control is lifestyle. So it's very important that you do your bit and hopefully stay healthy. Thank you.